Well, uh, the first challenge we face is uh, to have a, a narrative on cities that, uh, that is compelling because for now uh, many Africans, and you, you just listened to the Minister of Nigeria saying that uh, uh, we, st we should be starting from rural. Uh, we, we agree that there is a, a, a sort of continuum from rural to, to metropolis, but uh, it sends a message that urbanization is not a good thing. And uh, we in Africa, we want to convince people that as in any other region of the world, Africa will urbanize and that the future of Africa is also depending on the way they will manage urbanization. The second issue uh, that we, we have to address is that of uh, 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 decentralization. Uh, urbanization, it means that uh, you have a lot of day-to-day uh, -day problem that uh, should be addressed at the closest level to the people. So decentralization and uh, the uh, implementation of the subsidiarity principle is key for addressing and managing urbanization in the case of Africa. Uh, the third issue that we see uh, is that of uh, uh, empowerment of the people. Listening to the people so that uh, you don't do things for them, you do things with, with, with them. Uh, because the, the wisdom in, in, in my uh, tribe says that what you do for me without me, you do it against me. So it is very critical that we, 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 we learn how to do together. We learn how to listen to others. The fourth uh, is uh, how to create an enabling environment so that uh, we can have a, a participatory management of the urban challenge. And uh, this is also one, one interesting feature that we have to uh, uh, develop. And it can be developed because the human capital, the social capital of Africa is so huge that uh, we, 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 we can even teach other regions how to do that. Uh, the fifth one is, of course, uh, the issue of uh, uh, financing. Because uh, if you don't have money, you cannot go further. But to have money, it means that you address the issue of taxation, you address uh, the, the issue of uh, uh, the sharing of uh, resource, public resources between the national and the local uh, uh, governments. And uh, this uh, fiscal decentralization is also one of the issues that we have to address uh, very drastically. Human resource in local governments is also a key issue because uh, you can have money, but you can spend it in a bad way because you are not skilled enough. And uh, there is no way in Africa the uh, a new urban agenda can be implemented if we don't address drastically the issue of human resource in local government. Since local government will be the place where uh, you will uh, control that this implementation happen or not. If uh, progress is not seen where I live, then there is no progress. So it is very critical that uh, the uh, uh, local level is capacitated to uh, uh, having uh, 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 the, the skills that are needed to uh, have innovative approaches and respond uh, in an efficient manner to uh, the need of the people. We also uh, uh, have a problem of keeping people together. Cities were the place of uniting they are now a place of dividing. You have uh, ghettos for poor uh, in the besides uh, gate communities for rich, and they don't talk. And more and more people are locus of violence because they don't see. Uh, people are seeing themselves as excluded 
and to build inclusive city should be one of the tasks for this new urban agenda. Because uh, uh, if we don't succeed to build this inclusive city, then violence will grow and youth will be desperate. We need to be to rebuild humanity in cities. The first thing is to educate the national governments that they created local governments. And they created local governments because they know that proximity matters in mobilizing the people, in mobilizing their resources, in mobilizing their potential. And we are very surprised that uh, uh, where people live in the local level, whilst people know that every business is local, where even the governments live in cities and they also improve, uh, uh, feel the need for cities to deliver better services, they deny local authorities and regional authorities the capacity to respond and to fulfill their mandate. And this is why our role is to educate our national government to understand that it is at local level that all these agendas will be lost or won. There is no way you can implement the climate change agenda if you don't address that at the local level. There is no way you can address the issue of gender equality if it is not addressed at the local level. If you don't want your policies to be hanging, then go to the local level. I want you to remember that this organization, the United Cities and Local Government, was created to bring to the international community uh, the uh, perspective of those who are closest to the people. I want you to remember also that uh, in 2004, at the founding Congress, or UCLG, in Paris, Martha Suplicy, then mayor of Sao Paulo, was elected the first president. But she only ran for three months because in October she lost election. And she was replaced by the mayor of Paris, who ran for six years. And then the mayor of Istanbul, who ran for six years. Now come uh, the president of Salga in South Africa. What is, what is he bringing? He's bringing the perspective of a developing country. Whilst our organization has always been run by a, a, a national from a developed country. And he brings uh, with him where the problems are. The new urban agenda is addressing the uh, urbanizing world, the frontier of urbanization is Africa. This is the least urbanized continent and the more uh, rapid urbanizing continent. So the challenges are there. And you, we know that Latin America has crossed this curve and we want to build a strong Latin America, Africa uh, network. And we are proposing that the same way as was set up a China-Africa local government forum, we want a Latin America-Africa local government forum so that we bring to the attention of the head of state of Latin America and Africa where they meet, the, to, the, we bring to their attention the need to consider that their citizen at the local level consider that they are developing if they improve their living condition at the local level, not the statistic of the IMF or the World Bank. 
So every business is local. First of all, the urban agenda, the new urban agenda, receive a lot of input from Africa. You have a, an African position of the new urban agenda that was adopted by the head of state uh, uh, and government of Africa in Kigali last July. So the new urban agenda is already, incorporates already a lot of input from Africa. And what we are saying is that we need to have a right base agenda. And we don't need a situation whereby uh, we call for competitive cities shying away from solidarity. What we bring as local government is that we are stick, we are the gatekeeper of solidarity among humanity. And this is what we want to bring, and this is what Africa wants to bring to this new urban agenda.